Hello there, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about the exciting category of eyewear. Some of you are thinking glasses. What's so exciting about that? Oh no, stay tuned. I have some genius products I'm gonna be sharing with you today. A little over a month ago, a company called Vici Eyewear reached out to me. I went over to their website and read about the founder, how this company was started 10 years ago. It's based here in the US. They make all of their lenses in Florida. And I was just reading the history of the founder, his father, his father was a jewelry maker, many of you know. I used to make jewelry. So there was just kind of this instant connection for me. And then I had a conversation with the founder, David, and his passion for making eyewear fashionable was just so intriguing to me. And then he also has this other side where he's always looking for inventive ways to help us accomplish tasks that are difficult when we don't have 20-20 vision. <laughs> So if you're somebody who has less than perfect vision, you are going to want to stay tuned and see these two products. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Now let's get started. So the first product that they sent to me that I was just over the moon about when I heard the name of it and heard the purpose of them are makeup readers. Yes, glasses that will help you apply your makeup. So if you are somebody who is farsighted or somebody like me who is nearsighted, but once I crossed over 40 and 45, now I'm 46, heading towards 50, all of a sudden my close-up vision is going as well. You know, can't see far without my contacts and now up close I'm struggling with as well. So when I heard that, I thought, okay, this is a great solution because right now, what are your two options? If you can't see up close and you're trying to apply makeup, you can either pull out your readers and put on your readers, look up close, take them off, blend some eyeshadow, put your readers back on and hope that you're getting everything blended correctly. Doing eyeliner that way, I don't know how that's even possible. The other solution is to use a five times or 10 times magnifying mirror. Now, most times you're using a lighted magnifying mirror, so that's a big bulky piece of equipment. And I don't know about you, but I hate looking at my whole face in a five times or 10 times magnifying mirror because not only is it magnifying my eyes, which is helpful, but it's also magnifying those pores, wrinkles, all my other imperfections. And that's not something that's real helpful for self-confidence for the day, right? So how did they solve this dilemma of putting on makeup and yet wearing glasses at the same time? Enter the single lens glasses that allow you to work on one eye at a time and then flip the lens over and work on the other eye. Now in a moment, I am going to show you a demo of me doing my brows, my eyeshadow, liner, and a little trick I discovered just today for putting on mascara because there are some little tips and tricks you need to see in order to really know how these can fully work. A couple of brief specifics before we get to the demo. These come in five colors. I have just the basic black, but they come in white, red, and then two really cool kind of lucite colors. One's green and one's pink. You know me with my pink. They are $24 regular retail price and they come in seven different powered lenses. So they start at plus 100, go up to plus 400, and then there is a power in between. So 150, 2, 253, etc. I have been using these off and on for a couple of weeks and I've really been kind of, you know, not being super gentle because I wanted to really see if these are going to hold up and they are. They're holding up very well. So the frame is sturdy, the lens is super clear. If you've ever bought cheapo readers from the drugstore, you know what I'm talking about when you look through the lens and it's kind of like foggy and you're like, is this really helping? No, you don't have to worry about that. These lenses are nice and clear. They come in a nice little soft pouch, makes them super easy to throw in your purse, to travel with a lot easier to travel with than your huge old magnifying mirror. So now how do these work and specifically work for me? So I am somebody who I've been nearsighted since I was in fifth grade and I wear contacts most of the time. And up until 
my mid forties, my up close vision was actually really good. Well, a couple years ago, I started experiencing this really interesting issue. When I had my contacts in, I, I started not being able to read these little tiny labels on the bottom of the lipstick tubes. So I talked to my eye doctor about it. He's like, oh yes, when you're in your 40s, nearing 50, you're probably gonna have to start wearing readers with your contacts on. And I thought, oh my goodness. For makeup application, I was pretty much okay with anything that's, you know, a good distance away. So I can do my eyeshadow and all that fine, but my eyebrows and liner are getting a little tricky especially if when I'm doing my eyebrows and I'm like, ooh, I think there's a little random hair there, but I can't see it <laughs> close up to really pluck it well. So the first great use of these glasses is to help you with your eyebrow grooming. So everything from plucking those little tiny brow hairs, those random ones. Yes, we don't wanna over pluck at this age. I mean, every hair is precious, but <laughs> when they're way out of line from where I want my brows to be, <laughs> that hair has to go. So these allow me to see close up in the mirror, the closeness that I need to be, I'm able to see, and then flip that lens over and check out the brow hairs on the other side and pluck any stray hairs there. Now, the second use is actually applying your brow pencil, your brow powder, your pomade, whatever you use on your brows. And I just feel like in my experience with mature women, in my life, in my church, people I know, the brows are the one thing that we all continue to try and do for as long as possible. My grandma was still filling in her brows or at least trying to into her late 90s. My mom to this day will not leave the house without at least her brows on. She can go out without any other makeup on her face except for those brows. So brows are one of those things I think that we want to try and do our best to fill in. So with these makeup readers, you can see it is easy to fill in the brow on each side. And what I found is really kind of a nice little perk is you can use the kind of center point of the frame to help you figure out where your brows need to start and you can make them even on each side. And I haven't been doing this on a regular basis with these glasses, but today I did them and I was like, oh, wow, my brow line is actually quite straight. <laughs> So oh, they really are helpful. Now, when it comes to eyeshadow application, this is when I was like, okay, how are we gonna work around the edge of the glasses? So as you can see, when I'm applying my first color in the crease, I'm using my blending brush, but I'm holding the brush towards the end of the handle, which is actually where you want to be holding the brush anyway. So this is gonna help train you to be better about holding the brush properly. But you can see I'm reaching over the frame to blend and that works really well. Now, when it came to the corner shadow, you can see again, I'm reaching over the edge, but at an angle and with the rougher number 12 brush, this worked well for me to blend out the outer corner and then go back in with the blending brush. For lid shade, I don't really feel like that's too tricky to do, but you can definitely do this with the glasses on, just reaching over with your finger, applying that. And now we get to applying eyeliner. So today I used my Makeup Forever pencil and you can see I started over the frame going from the inside of the eye towards about the midpoint. But then you're like, wait, the frame is in my way. What do we do? Ah, oh, reach under the frame. And then I just gently held the edge of my eye out there and look how easy it is to finish the eyeliner. I thought, okay, wait. Uh, this is even easier than trying to do it freehand. So I really felt like this was helpful. And then under the eye, you can see I drew it about a part way under. And then later I'm like, oh yeah, duh. I can just lift up the edge of the glasses slightly so that I can go under further. And because the lens is a nice size, you can adjust these when they're on, just slightly lifting if you need to, and you still have plenty of space to see what's going on. Now, one of my friends, she said, now, is it weird 
just looking through one lens at a time, you know, only being able to see through one lens. I said, well, not really, because if you think about it, when you're applying liner, you're closing one eye basically. So you're only looking through one eye most of the time anyway. So I have not found that to be an issue. Now the final two steps for me personally in eye makeup application are curling my lashes and applying mascara. At first I thought, oh, curling the lashes is gonna be impossible because if you try to go over the top of the frames, you can't do it. But then I put my, my curler underneath the frame, again, just kind of held it up a little bit. And lo and behold, I could finally see <laughs> the hair and be able to see and pay attention to how I was curling my lashes. Because right now, I just kind of wing it because I can't really see clearly. I just think and hope that I get all those lashes in the curler. So the final step is mascara. And really, there is no way that you can go over the top of the frame like this to apply your mascara. I mean, you could for the inside, but you're not really going to be able, and getting underneath, I just didn't find that to work at all. So I thought, I wonder what would happen if we turn the glasses upside down and you can see my face, I'm like, oh my word, this totally works. So I don't know that they ever intended us to do that. And obviously, you know, the ears are curved up, but who cares, right? You're just at home. So nobody's going to be going, hey, she's wearing her glasses upside down. But as you can see here and in the demo, <laughs> by wearing them this way, it now opens up your whole bottom part of your eyes. Now, you might be thinking, well, why don't you do them that way all the time? Well, because they're not cut out to sit like that on your nose, it is going to make an impression in your makeup if you hold, if you leave them on like that too long. So that's why I would say do that for your mascara and if you need to for your lower lash line, liner or whatever. But all in all, I think you can accomplish almost all of your eye makeup with these glasses. And I just think it's genius. $24 and with my discount code, I do have a discount code of 15% off, then that makes them, I think, super reasonable and something that everybody could use. Now, if you're somebody who doesn't wear any makeup or maybe you have a husband who wears contact lenses for farsightedness, these are genius as well for that. So you can put these on and easily see to put your contact lenses in. Now the second pair of glasses that they sent to me are part of their regular line. So not only do they have this really cool, creative, inexpensive type of product, but they also have a full offering of frames that you can customize with your prescription lenses and you can make them either regular lenses, sunglasses, or readers and in the readers category they even have varying offerings as well and the one offering that they sent to me which is working so well for me because of my contact lenses for seeing far are progressive readers I'm gonna put these on of course you're gonna see some little bit of glare from the ring light so progressive readers what does this mean this means that with my contacts in for nearsightedness i can look through the top part of these glasses and they are completely clear so last night my husband and i were watching tv but with these progressive readers on i was able to look down at my phone and see perfectly and look up and see perfectly. I did not have to take these on and off every time I wanted to read something on my phone because the top portion is totally clear. But guess what? We don't have a bifocal line, so nobody knows that I'm wearing readers. <laughs> So I picked this style out. These are called the Valerius and this is the tortoise color frames. And I just love them. I love the variation. But so they when they arrived, they were kind of like your normal glasses. They were not curved around the ear specifically for my ears. So I just did what I've always done and I took them to Walmart. I don't know if you know this, but Walmart Optic Place will custom fit your glasses for you for free even if you don't buy them there. So once the technician got done fitting my glasses for me, she's like, those look amazing. Those are so cute on you. And I'm like, thank you. But what I found was once these were custom fit to my face, these have held the shape that she put them in. And 
what I have noticed because then I've been able to wear them a lot more is I've really been able to feel the difference in certain aspects of the glasses of how they feel, how they fit. And one of the biggest things I noticed is the nose bridge here. This is all rounded and super smooth. And these just sit really nicely and they don't seem to break down my makeup as quickly as my other glasses do. So they fit nicely. The lenses, even though they're that progressive style, they're super clear. Now all of their prescription style glasses, not only are they built with quality, but they stand behind them with great guarantees. So you have a 90 day return, free return on all of their prescription glasses. The makeup readers, you have 30 days. They have a 30 day return on those. Free U.S. shipping for all of their glasses, including the makeup readers, to anywhere in the USA. They do ship internationally. I don't know what their shipping rates are for that. Now, the makeup readers come in just one of these soft cases, but their prescription glasses, oh my goodness. They start off in this really nice box with a drawer in it, and then they come in a nice leather case with a really nice cloth, cleaning cloth, so you can keep them clean without scratching your lenses. So that's just a nice little extra that they give you for free. Now, I have had experience ordering prescription glasses online before, but if you have not had that experience, I'm sure you're probably going, mm, yeah, no, this is just ripe for disaster. <laughs> But what I love about Vici, not only do they have a really great 3D virtual try-on tool, which is how I actually picked out my readers, and I feel like they fit really well and true to that try-on, but they also offer a free concierge service. And what that means is if you're struggling either to find the right style, shape for your face, whatever, you can set up a video call with one of their stylists to help you. They will also walk you through the entire ordering process because I know a lot of us aren't that savvy when it comes to ordering things online or we're very nervous and then you think, I'm ordering prescription glasses. This is not a good thing. But knowing that you have somebody who will walk you through that and then after you get your glasses, you get a phone call, you get personal follow-up. And so I love that their company is very passionate about doing that. So all of this being said, if you are looking for new prescription glasses, prescription sunglasses, readers, or you, like me, are so intrigued by the idea of makeup readers, glasses to help you get that up close detail work done, I will leave my link in the description box below. I'm also going to pin a comment to the top of the comment section because I feel like YouTube continues to make the description box harder and harder to find. So I will leave a link to Vici Eyewear's website. It will be my affiliate link. If you don't wanna use that, that is okay. You can just go directly to their website. But if you choose to use my affiliate link, I truly appreciate it. I will also leave my discount code below, which will give you 15% off their already low prices. If you've bought glasses, Recently, you know that you can pay four to $500 easily, and you're not gonna be paying that on their website. So go check out their designs. My discount code, Shirley15, I'll leave that down below. And I'll also leave the specific glasses that I showed you today. I have my eye on a couple of other frames. I just recently got my eyes examined, so I have a fresh prescription, so I am ready for some new sunglasses, maybe some new regular glasses when I'm not wearing my contacts. So you all might be seeing some more glasses from Beachy Eyewear appear here. So I hope that this video was fun and helpful to you. If you struggle with vision issues and you need glasses, I would highly recommend just go check out their website, go browse, and check out all their designs. They do also have men's frames as well. So they cover all the bases, but I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.